Thank you for joining us. I'm Lara McHugh, broadcasting from the PPL Public Media Center at PBS 39. This month, we're going full steam ahead on Focus to explore science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, the core areas covered by the Da Vinci Science Center in Allentown. We begin our coverage with a focus on technology with reporter Brittany Garzillo. Brittany? Thanks, Laura. Well, you've probably heard of Apple Watch and Fitbit, but we have some new innovators in town. I spent the afternoon at a local middle school where sixth grade students tried their hands at creating wearable technology. Take a look. Inside classroom 404 at Brockle Middle School in South Bethlehem, students have wearable technology at and on their fingertips. Some of our students that don't typically learn from pencil and paper, this is a way for them to shine. These sixth grade students shine bright because of a new program offered through the Da Vinci Science Center in Allentown called the Da Vinci STEAM Makerspace. A makerspace is a project-based environment in which the kids get to form their own ideas about the project and where it's going to end up. So you got to think about how you're going to wear it too. Steve McGorry, the Outreach Education Manager at the Da Vinci Science Center, works side by side with students to help them design and create personalized articles of clothing like hats, socks, and gloves that light up. The ultimate goal of the program is to get students to see how different aspects of technology can relate to various subjects and in this case it's art, science, engineering and involves the topic of electricity as students learned the science behind circuitry. Yeah, LED lights, right. They learned right, science yeah. behind what makes up a battery and from there they used those skills to use wires, batteries, and lights to build circuit. Once they learned how to make a circuit using batteries and lights, they then also learned how to sew. With a needle and thread in hand, students carefully stitch electroluminescent wire, often known as EL wire, into place. I had to sew it onto the glove. I made a hat and it's the word wolf with a heart. A battery pack powers the EL wire and when the overhead lights are turned off, with the push of a button, their colorful designs virtually come to life. The program is supported by a grant from the Lehigh Valley Community Foundation and has tested students' skills beyond STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Your leadership skills, definitely your skills to be keeping your idea going and to be creative. Creativity, not giving up. So it's really brought about some leadership roles in students that normally are not leaders in our classrooms. Since the start of the program in October of 2015, Newhart says she's seen academic improvement in some students. They were maybe struggling prior to the program, but their grades have improved greatly. So this is an overexposure light picture that one of the kids actually just created on spot here. We really want it to be a, a fun and integrative experience, something that they remember the rest of their lives. And perhaps a way to inspire the future generation of innovators to discover their own bright ideas. The EL wire used in the student projects is the same type used in productions by Lightwire Theater, an internationally recognized theater troupe known for their electroluminescent artistry. Students plan to present their finished pieces during Lightwire Theater's show called Moon Mouse, A Space Odyssey at the Zollner Arts Center at Lehigh University in Bethlehem. Thank you so much, 